ready to take the plunge and apply for a postdoc in Australia? In this video, I will guide you through the entire application process from gathering the needed documents to submitting your application. Learn the key steps to make your application stand out and increase your chances of landing that important position. Next is to start the postdoc application. So I've searched here, if you can see, this is the SEEK website and I just searched postdoctoral as the search criteria and I searched and then there are many jobs that are listed here. So what I will be doing later is I'll, I'll walk you through this job that is advertised here and then we will see what is it that they are requesting during uh, for the PhD, for the postdoc position. So you can always check the website is seek.com.au. So when you start your application, you have to have a few things that, that every postdoc position advertised on the website would require. One of that is research proposal. You should prepare a brief research proposal outlining your research plan and try to align this research with the institution or the university's research goals. You know, so you need to do some background research first that you so that you know what is the research expertise that they have and where you can contribute. And on some occasions on the advertised position, they would say that this postdoc will work on this and this project. So if you, they have already given you the project description for which this particular position is advertised, then try and see or align all your achievements, all your capabilities around that job. So that way you are doing the mapping and the evaluation or the selection panel, you will make it easier for them to assess your application because you can say that you are uh, the best suited candidate for this position because these are all the uh, criteria that you have listed for the project and this is your your experience on your experience on those along those criteria so you are making their job easier by doing that kind of a proposal <clears throat> uh, i did a webinar on research proposal how to draft a research proposal on the 2nd of march so if you are not sure how to write a research proposal do check that video. Next is you need to have a strong CV. The CV should not be very long, you know, and on many occasions, the job advertised job will mention how many pages uh, your CV should be. So stick to that page limits. And I'm going to do another webinar on that topic in the future. So keep an eye out for that too. Okay. The next thing you need to do is to write a strong cover letter and a cover letter that kind of aligns or shows how you your research or how your experience is aligned with the job that has been advertised. So you, you may have to do one cover letter for each job that you want to apply because the requirements for different jobs will be maybe different. So don't try and recycle the same cover letter for all your job applications you need to spend time to make a to do a proper job in writing the cover letter and and one one suggestion i would do uh, uh, give you is do not copy paste because whenever you do a copy paste you will forget something and this mistake happens many times especially when i review <clears throat> uh, when i am on a selection panel or when i am receiving emails from potential uh, postdoc phd uh, graduates looking for a postdoc they will have a standard email that they have copied and pasted and they would change some stuff here and there and sometimes they forget to change the name and i receive an email from from this uh, whoever sending this and it is addressed to a wrong person so and this happens i've seen it a lot so don't make that mistake it gives a very bad impression about your work ethic okay so whenever you're writing a cover letter, start from scratch. Next thing you would need is a, a reference letter. So try to get two or three reference letters from, from your previous supervisors or uh, colleagues with whom whoever you have worked with in the past, your professors and so on, because that will matter a lot in many 
uh, interviews or in many uh, job applications, one of the selection criteria or assessment criteria is how have the referees ranked you on a scale of uh, one to 10. So something on, on those lines. So if you are ranked well and all the two or three referees have given you a similar and a strong recommendation, it counts a lot towards your chance of getting the position.